Hello, and welcome back for our next episode of Riven. Uh, I've got, uh, sorry, it's the Riven remake. I've got Sean back with me again. Hello. And Nelly's joining us this time. Hello. Not so much. Deliberately this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on purpose. On purpose. <laughs> Not just dropping in as a surprise. <laughs> um, uh, I did, did you watch our last episode, Nelly? No, I haven't. Oh, boy. <laughs> we made a, we made a surprising amount of progress, I think. Um, uh, I'm just going to get straight into it, uh, and uh, and I guess I'll start talking about my massive brainwave that I've been having. Yeah, I'm very excited. I hope uh, I hope you're not disappointed. <laughs> Sorry, it's just thinking. All right, so. Oh, where's my mouse? Oh, there we go. Sorry, sorry, that was me. Uh, oh, okay. Here we are. We've got a Easy bunch issue. of sparkly balls, and they probably need to go in an order. All right. So, I'll ask you a question, Sean. Do you remember as ever seeing a 5x5 five five grid like this before? There was a different grid that was a slidey puzzle. And there was... Actually, there was... Was it... Was the slidey puzzle 5x5? Five five? No, it was... It was 5x5. Five five. It was, huh? How about that? Okay, all right. So, there's the fact oh, that there's thinking. five balls there. Does make okay. you think it might be similar. That's so some the, good thinking, Ben. All right, all right. So, the next thinking part is this. Oh, I can't see that. It's very bright. It's extremely overexposed, but oh, sorry. there are a bunch of numbers. So it's the symbol for each of the domes and a number next to it. The number, we've already figured out which numbers relate to which lines. Yes. So here's the part that I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the main screen. I don't know which of these corresponds to where I need to put it. And yeah, I don't really know this either. Are they, if you put one ball in one spot, does the line for that ball up top, does that move? Well, let's find out. Um, okay, let me just go back to this again. No, Sorry. if you put the red ball in one of the slots, does the red line up top move to a place? Yeah, sorry that it's overexposed, by the way. Just I'm, I'm running in HDR, and so it's probably not converting it very well. Um, no, my computer's too good, so it looks crap. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we'll go to the top left one, I guess. Don't, no idea which colour it's supposed to be. Let's go red. Let's start with purple, yeah? I'm going to say no. Maybe try it in one more spot. Oh, oh, so you can move those yourself. Hmm. So you need to both have the ball in the correct location and probably the slots in the correct location. So I remember in the base game um, there was a puzzle like this that I can't remember everything about, but basically you would choose the layout... Uh, hold on, how would I phrase this? So basically it would show you a, like a little map of each of the islands and you would have to put the little sphere into the spot where the dome is on the island. Hmm. And that was part of the puzzle. And I definitely remember some, some gauge like this, but I cannot for the life of me remember how any of it works. I'm very disappointing. You are. Always been. Uh, so do you have any ideas about how we might figure these colours out? We haven't seen anything else coloured, have we? The only coloured thing we've seen is in that aquarium place with the different lights. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. But I don't feel like that was giving us information that we could use here. Agreed. I don't think it was either. Um, how about we go to the lab where we were able to get that ball to glow, you remember? Yes, and that, that is where we got the numbers. Yeah, and there was a gauge like this, if you remember, where we set. There were definitely was a gauge like this. Okay, all right, I'm going to... Bye. I hope this doesn't make you motion sick, Nelly. I'm kind of not watching that part. Can I reach this book? I reach it. 
Okay, alright, let's go back. I'll actually probably walk forward instead of backwards. Do, 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 do. Um, should I go this way or should I? Oh no, I have to go this way. Do, do, do. Um, oh, that's perfect. I don't have to do anything. I thought I might have to press the button. I'm not going to run because it might cause you motion sickness. I'm just going to walk slowly. Yeah, that's okay. I can look away. Run away. I mean, run as much as I can. It's okay. I find the idea of motion sickness really interesting. It's fine when I'm the one in control. I totally get it, because if I'm in VR and they do that thing where it moves your view around, but you're stuff. not actually moving, mm -hmm. I definitely feel like, oh, oh that wouldn't feel right. <laughs> like, as, as much as everybody says that Astro Bot game, the original one on in VR, was like one of the best there's definitely at least one moment in that where I was like oh that doesn't feel right <laughs> oh okay not that I finished it but yeah I didn't get that during the parts that I did play how are you on roller coasters Nelly? I'm too old for roller coasters now I like all it takes one I didn't like though, it was the, I don't know, it just kind of really jumped me around. There's only ever been one, uh, um, what do you call them, uh, fair, uh, fairground ride that um, really made me feel like I might throw up. And I think it's justified considering it had three axes of rotation at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> because that's like, like what? Yeah, it's like it's it's an unnecessary amount of uh, rotation if you ask me. <laughs> Definitely. Um, all right, so we're going to the lab, so we have to come up this way. You remember this way, right, Sean? It's the way that goes up. <laughs> so pretty, this game. Here we go. Roller coasters, just for you, Nelly. Yeah. I've queued them all up just so we can get maximum roller coaster. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm here for it. Oh, you've still got three, four days to recover anyway. Okay, I like these kind of ones. These really stuff. Yeah, it's nice. Yep, we're underwater. You mean the Indiana Jones ride? Yes. That's a bit jerky, I'm very disappointed. Your computer time, Ben? Yep, well... We never watches my YouTube channel, so I think it's safe to say that I have started work on him on my new computer. <laughs> And if you drive him to work every day this week, then he'll uh, or to the train station, then he'll be uh, you'll be a hundred dollars further ahead on uh, computer savings, yep. right? Yep. So pretty this game. It is. It's very stunning. Yeah. So I, I'm still thinking about. How you said that Simon Nelly mentioned that he thought it would look better, and I'm just like, how? 
I'm, I not, I'm, I'm not sure how it could possibly look better. <laughs> I think his memories are slightly clouded that it looked really good when we played it kind of thing. But... It did. Um, but even if you do a side-by-side -side comparison, it looks crap compared... I mean, it looks it, way better compared to what it used to look like. So it I get does. it, though. Because sometimes I'm like, oh, I remember this game and it was so incredible. But then when I actually play it, I'm like, oh, it actually wasn't that good. Yeah. But you're fighting against, like, core memories. Of your, like, your brain does fill in gaps and stuff and make you think stuff was better than it was, all that kind of thing. Nostalgia goes a long way. Mm. Okay, let's see if we can get some different colours going, yeah? I'm hopeful we can. I mean, if we can get the thing to glow different colours, that will tell us something. Yeah, definitely something. We definitely couldn't get it to glow any other colour than bright before, but... Did it look like... Okay. Oh, yeah. So here we go, we know... That is yellow. Which is about nine on the dial. Yep. Did I take a photo of this before? It's X, yeah? Yep. Okay, all right. So let's try some other colours. Not that we've been able to get it to do anything except for yellow or off, but sure, yeah. let's try. Do it. I'm just doing the trial and error here. Oh, it's starting to glow. Maybe it's not glowing enough. Maybe this is just like yellow or something. I'm really at a loss as to what. I mean, we what? can't take it out. We can't put a different one in. No. No. We can't seem to add anything else to this machine. Hmm. <laughs> and you've looked at both notes on the left, right? I just went to click on them, but that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it's just like that's that's it. So I'll try somewhere over here, yeah. Oh, it definitely did not like that. Yeah, so it wants to be in that little section. Yes, yeah, so we know it wants to be is... number nine and it makes it glow, but it makes it glow basically whitish yellow. It's not even the same colour yellow as the ball that we've got. Annoying. Okay, I'm open to ideas here. There's nothing else that's coloured though, is there? Move here, yeah, there's like nothing that I can see that will... So that's where we got the ball from, if I remember correctly. Was it? Something like that. Yeah, I think... If it wasn't that one, then it was something similar. I mean, we got a ball from the wall, and then we brought it here. Like, we That's right. put it in a little conveyor -y thing, and it went down to somewhere. So it's basically, we know where they got the balls from in the first place. We know that they come out of those wall things. Oh. And that you can charge them to make them glow, but then we're not allowed to take it out once we've got it glowing. Damn it. Like, obviously that is very happy, but we can't take it out. Even though it's ding ding ding, you are correct. This is the right number. It's a bit annoying, isn't it? And while we have five different numbers on the scra scrap of paper that's next to that, which is the screenshot that you couldn't yeah. see because it was overexposed, so we can maybe take another screenshot that isn't overexposed. That's not overexposed, is it? No, it looks good now. Yes, no, it's very good. So yeah, that number means something. So what did we think the sideways circle thing meant? What was that number? I forget what we said. The oh, circles the were not numbers. The circles were the domes. No, I mean, so I'm, I'm looking at this. Oh, thinking, right, right. So we know what that means. And a rotation, as far as I know, means that it's at plus nine. So the one curve is two. Uh, so that would mean curve 11. with a line through the middle. Mm. 
And I, I guess the other problem that we've got is figuring out which. Oh, it's dome. plus four, isn't it? Is it? So what? I guess it's six. No, it's plus. I think it's plus nine because we did all the numbers up to nine, didn't we? I think so the one is straight down, and the five is straight across. Yes. If the two is the curvy line, then rotating it the same way you do the five, then is that plus four, so therefore six, or is six when they combine one in five? Don't even know. Um. Well, Bunyip just came to say hello. Hello, Bunyip. Um, the second number is four, so it's whatever that one is minus four, like straight across and then minus four. But we don't know what colour corresponds. Wait, unless looking through the fish colour water thing. Now, yeah, that is the place we saw the colours. Do each of those colours correspond to a dome somehow? Like, do we end up looking at a different dome when we're in the underwater thing where the giant fish was? Uh, hold on, sorry, this is not what I wanted to look at. Uh, there was something else that uh, we saw. Hold on, I'm going to look at screenshots again, sorry. Apologies for this, that's going to be overexposed. Did I not take a... Oh, it's this. It's this tells us the different shapes. And that is that book, actually. Sorry, so I'll just go over there. And then just figure out which of the 45 pages it's on. Yep. Okay. All right. So this tells us which of these corresponds to which shape. And we know the... Sh I'm sure there was something that told us... Well, the shapes were in the slidey puzzle, which was that 5x5 five five grid. Yeah. Well, missing something, aren't I? I'm definitely missing something. Yeah, we're missing the connection between those shapes and the colours slash domes. Alright. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the, uh, the aquarium is somewhere around here, isn't it? Is it? I, f I forget. You're the one who knows your way around. Yep. I'm just here for the ride. Oh god, where was it? This is what happens when you don't play for two weeks. <laughs> you forget where everything is. <laughs> uh... Honestly, my instinct by this, after this long, would have been to go and try and brute force it and see if we learn anything by brute forcing the balls and the things. But with five different balls of different colours and 25 different places you can place them, we may not learn anything very fast. And it probably wouldn't make for very good uh, video. I like the way you think. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I Yeah, so... I, for the life of me, I cannot remember where the um, the thing thing you know the thing the thingy thing the underwater aquarium yeah. viewing platform yeah that, that see you know Ben you can translate me really well. Do 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 
Come on. Come on. Come on, Ozzy, come on. Come on. We're being all oh. patriotic and olympic -y. Good, good job. Uh, so, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I was definitely taught to walk into open uh, sewage pipes when I was a kid. Really? <laughs> no, I strongly encouraged. <laughs> it, it only flood, flooded up home multiple times a year, so very safe activity for children. Yeah, you would have been very sudden. This is just where you can look down, I think it's... Oh yeah, yeah that's right, thank you. Great. I hope you had your tennis shop in. Ow! <laughs> oh no, this is... we've been here. This is that stupid room. Stupid I'm pretty sure we've been everywhere, so it's just a question of which places will teach us more things. I'm just off comes for a sec. Is going to open? How do I open it? When that picture with the sliding puzzle shapes... Yep. And the five different slots. Like, isn't it just like the the cog in the middle of that looks like those little pillars that we were shoving things into and al aligning them by looking through the magnifying glass. Uh. I don't. I don't understand what you mean. I took a screenshot just so that I could think about it. So I'll just put that back in the chat for you. Um, okay. When you look at that shape in the middle, oh yes, that reminds me of the things that we aligned using the magnifying glass to tell us which direction. Okay. Which means that I'm not convinced it's necessarily a clue for the color puzzle. Okay. Well, I so that that picture. Um, thank you for sending that, by the way. Um, it makes me think of the dome, actually, and all the pipes that are basically heading out in all five directions. Because each of the... when you go into that middle circular area below, uh, and you can go out to each where there's like a window, it actually has the eye symbol for each of them on right. the window. I'll show you what I mean. I'm just going to run now that Nelly's not watching. And even if she is, it's going to take too long otherwise. Didn't, didn't say looking away. Well, Maybe looking away because nauseous. Hopefully she can keep her breakfast down, or lunch, or whatever. So many ladders, your arms must get some. Oh, no. Just in time for another roller coaster ride. <laughs> oh, don't eat too much pizza. You might end up eating pizza next weekend. Maybe. I'm not saying it's on a short list of things Katie does eat, but uh, I don't have m many more things that I could add to that list. hopeful that when somebody watches this video on YouTube, they'll just be so frustrated and put a comment and tell us what the answer is. <laughs> <laughs> Please, YouTube people, tell me the answer! <laughs> I'm sure YouTube does spoiler tags. That we were uh, going to immediately click on. Where was I going? You were, first you were looking for the aquarium underwater thing, and then you were like, I'm going to go to the dome where all the pipes are coming in. Oh yeah, thank you, the dome. Because that picture right. has reminded me. Yeah. Do, 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 do. We've got to go get the um, the taxi again. How's your non-slip rug, by the way? Uh, I bought the non-slip stuff, but I haven't actually laid it down yet. How's yours? 
It's good. Don't shut. Cool. Did you measure the rug first to make sure you were buying the right size, or did you just sort of buy a big bit and you're going to cut it down? No, I, I bought, I, I measured it, and there weren't ones that were exactly the right size, but there were definitely, so the long rug, I had to buy two. Mm -hmm. They were a little bit smaller, just to, uh, like maybe a couple centimetres on each side. That should be fine, you just need the middle of it to not slip. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah. Oh, there's that rock again. Did you see it? Doesn't it make you want to go to uh, Warner Brothers? What do they call it? And ride the kitty rides. Is that all that's there? No, I'm sure there's probably, I'm sure there's plenty of proper roller coasters. But like Nelly was saying, we are in aging bodies that do not uh, respond well to roller coasters anymore. Or I'm just a coward. Maybe both. Um, yeah, uh, I've never been to what are they? What is that place called? The Warner Brothers one? Movie World. Movie World, yeah, I've never been to... Actually, I've never been to any of the ones up there. But you're so close. You live, like, in Sydney. That's basically next door. Is it? What? Yeah, it's I mean... much closer than uh, Kansas, and I went... I've been... Once when I was, like, two, and then another time when I was about 12, and then another time when I was maybe 20. Wow, you've been many times. Well, I mean, two, two various places there. Like, maybe I've only been to Dreamworld once, but... Uh, okay, because... so at these pipes, this is what I'm talking about. So you see you've got the pipes coming out in yes, all five okay. cardinal directions. Oh, yeah, that does look like the spokes, yes. Um, so this one over here is the dot I. That's the, that's the one for this island. Sure is, yep. So if we look at that picture again, because I love overexposing your eyeballs... Then we can oh, it say. It looks fine there until you zoom in on it, like, and then it's like I'm going to highlight everything. Well, the problem is that I'm streaming to you on Discord at 720p, so I'm surprised you would even be able to read it at that when it's looking like that. Um. Yeah, but somehow I have to like marry up the size of the islands to. Yeah, I don't know which one's which. Was there any information, any more information when the, those shapes were part of the sliding puzzle? Hops, possibly. Uh, do you remember how to get there? <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm not the navigation person. I'm the thinking of ideas person, and you're the one who has to enact them. Oh, it was down here. Do you remember? Nope. Oh, I remember what was down here. Nothing down here. Not anymore. All right, I'm going to go to the dome because I know we can get to other places. Ooh, look at that. That's a nice little curvy, curvy pipe. Uh, I'm going to go yeah, to the I'm dome because I know that we can get to um, to other places by by the domes. And now we wait. 90% of these recordings has been waiting for this room to rotate. <laughs> Is this the dome? I was confused about what's the dome. That, that structure we were in before was the big golden dome. But then there are smaller domes which are not gold, which right. you can open up and travel through some, like, connected space. Which I'll show you in a second. But you're not talking about the actual, like, in-space part? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah. So when you go basically inside something, you end up in space, and then you can go between the different islands yep. via I space. I think I was there for one of those. Yeah, so the, the, when I'm talking about the big dome, this is the one that, that yeah, I... Dome. This dome, I believe, corresponds to this picture. The cover of the book. Right there. Ah. I mean, the cover of the, like, game box. Yes, definitely, was... yep. I have no idea why I took a picture of that. Oh, no, I just did that recently. Never mind. Um, I've got a lot of info here, people, but I have no well, idea. In fact, look, look, you've got that screenshot right there, the top right. 
Uh, this one? Yes. Can we yes. see that a bit bigger? Uh, okay, sure. Because I was wondering if, like, those Gosh. shapes correspond, correspond to the shapes in the diagram that I screenshot. Okay, so I can see... So I, do, can we I don't tell know if you guys can see this, but I can here. see this here is one, one of the islands. This here is one. This small cube here is one. Then we've got all of this is one, and then just this small part here is one as well, because I can see that the spaces are slightly oh, bigger. Oh, I see. There's a darker line. Yeah. Yep. So I can see the shapes here, but I still don't know about the colors. No. And also, I don't, colors. yeah, so because we need to somehow marry the different domes to their colors and then somehow understand which of these is which. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's easy, right? 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 <laughs> yeah, easy. Okay, so we already Can know that this... Can you take one... us to one of those clicky-clacky things that you can see the line line up on the... You, through the magnifying glass? Is there one of those nearby? Clicky-clacky things that I can see the line light up. In, on the magnifying glass, it helps you align the thing that rotates you know that you know the little armies of stand standees like little dwarf standees okay you know the tree do you remember the tree that is i remember like the tree there? yes okay can you take us there or is that like somewhere wait you... yes i can take you to the tree because at the entrance to a tunnel near the tree is one of the like clicky clacky things i'm talking about Okay, all right. I'm glad glad you remembered this. We'll just have to get the taxi one more time. I'm sorry for zooming through here, Nelly. It's okay. Oh, sorry. Taxi time. Going really well so far. I like how all the previous like the previous three episodes, Sean and I have been like, "Well, if you're looking for progress, I don't think it's going to happen this episode." And then we did. And this time, I've said Every nothing. Every other time we did. Yeah, this time we this... were really excited about everything you'd thought about in the meantime. Yep. And, and it hasn't helped. Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So we want to go back to that tree. You're talking about the tree with all those weird things on them. Yeah, like the tree with the dead moths or whatever yep, it is. Yep, yep. Okay, on my way. Oh, where are they going? Their usual place. Oh. Gonna spook someone looking through a aquarium. Aren't they part of the puzzle? I think they are, yeah. If they stage. are, we have failed miserably. Okay, here I am. Oh, okay, this is what you're talking tree. about. Clicky clacky, yes. Yep, sorry. That now I'm looks not... much less like the thing I was talking about. Someone was saying there's like a hotkey where you can bring up that thingy by the way but I have no idea what it is let me just try a bunch of buttons oh there, no that's inventory well I guess it's the thing that's in your oh inventory. there we go it's R yeah so I was just wondering if there was a way we could get that to somehow make sense with the oh you know what you know what Sean you know what you know what no but I'm hoping you've realized something These correspond to things. Ah, oh, yes, the things on the right, yes. Yes. I don't know what any of it means. Oh, well, that's definitely one. Is it? Was that one? Ah, uh, no, that's five. Oh, five. Okay, my mistake. Straight right, line so across the middle is five. So, what's the one we're looking at now? Um, 
so this is that one, actually. So this is the one with the things on the bottom right. Oh, oh sorry, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Fighting with the menu. Okay, so it's none of these. No, it doesn't seem to be. Oh, but is it the opposite one then? Is it the one just above your mouse? That so one? the fifth one down. Oh, this one? No, one up. Is it like that one because that's the reverse of what we, of the shapes that are there? Okay. Like, I, I feel like what we're looking for is the opposite of that. But I also don't know what any of this means. <laughs> no idea. That would be the number eight. Oh, no, there's no line in it. The number three. Like that, that, so that fifth one from the bottom is the number three. Okay. That makes sense. So three plus five was the line. So that was eight. Yes, yeah, so that one's eight at the top. Yep. So that's one. That we said this was, oh, we didn't know this one. So what was the that's one two. on the side? The one on the side is two. So and then that one's plus... rotated, so so it could, it could be six. But I had previously said that the one with a line across and down was six because that's five plus one. Yes, and I think that's right. So that doesn't explain what this uh, rotated. Bottom so wait, one if is. you said it was two, so if you do two plus five, that makes that seven. Does that make sense? Oh, because they've bent the line instead of putting it across the middle. I'm so confused. Yeah, I guess they took the line away for one to two. Yeah, that makes sense actually. Uh, you know what? I'm not. I'm not. I'm actually not going to say that um, because no, I we like still. That. I don't understand how rotation affects the numbers. So wh when they have more than one, so I would say it would definitely be. Sorry. So when they have more than one symbol, so we know that that's three, right? That that little symbol there. Is that yes. right? Yes. And we know that this is five. Yes. So, so we, we understand that, that adding those together would be eight, and I think that's right. Um, but we don't really understand what it means when you rotate. No, the only real example of rotation we have is the one to the five, which may just be a completely different number rather than a rotation. All right. So sorry. So we're here. Um, what so did if you we look, look at that again, I was suggesting that the one that was the reverse of that. See how it would sort of fit in. Yep. So that fifth one down. Again, I don't know how this helps, but uh, if we look at the notebook. So this one. Yeah, so, so, so you can see how three. that shape, if we had that shape on the right, it would slot in to sort of complete um, complete the thing. And the number for this is three. Okay, all right. Now, what do we do with this? I don't know. Can I just hold for one second because Bunyip is being a real pain. She yep. wants to go for a walk and we haven't taken it. I'll be right back. Are you going for leftovers or? Uh, no, Michael's, actually no. Cooking tonight. Michael's cooking tonight. Oh. And we did already have pizza on Thursday rather than leftovers. Aha. Uh -huh. And then I guess I'm cooking when I get home from the office tomorrow. You have to go. No, when I get home from the dentist tomorrow. That's right. Yeah, I've got a meeting at 11, but then I've got a come home in time for a month, another meeting so that I'm not late to the dentist. Mm. So yeah, probably get nothing done tomorrow in terms of actual work, but... I'm back. Alright, good job. Did you delegate? Uh, well, he's cooking dinner, so I just let her out the back. Um... Fair enough. Okay, so so if this one is three, and does does this correspond to a particular island? I'm a bit confused about how knowing that this is three helps us. Yeah, I don't know. But I guess it's... Not that I don't that want before. to know. Um, I really do. And all of these things, I'm just like, oh, what, what are these? The little sandies. Yeah, I don't know what any of these are for. I bet you no, there's one that's like, it's one obviously one this one that you're supposed to be looking at. <laughs> oh, you know, the the one that matches that thing. Yeah, that thing that 
I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> no. Who's marked it? No, this is the problem. Anyway, I, I feel good about that being three for some later date when we are working on a different puzzle that we don't know where it is yet. I also feel good. Oh, we still didn't lower that. Um, yeah, somehow I stuffed that up. Do 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 do. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Oh, look, it's our little sub. Do you want to go in the sub? We come out of that already, but no, oh, whatever. Sure. Hello, submarine. Uh, where do we want to go? Let's go to the next one. Just because I can. Oh, no, that's gonna. No, no, I didn't mean to click that. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. I mean, this shape is also kind of, I guess it's only got four spokes, plus the one we're at. But they're rotated from the angles this is at. I hope we don't see that giant fish thing again. It scared me that time. We already went up there. We I mean, let that guy out of prison. Was there something in there we were supposed to? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try, try it. Sorry. See, they never have these rides at uh, Movie World, do they? No, I'm not sure what the OHS is saying. <laughs> Railings are for weaklings and me. <laughs> So yeah, we let the dude out of here. Accidentally. Yeah. Yeah, it was more like uh, we opened it and then it's like, oh, where did he go? <laughs> where did he go? Haven't found him again since, just like that other one guy. If we're supposed to do that, but I'm gonna undo it. <laughs> I don't think it does anything. It's clearly doing something. Anything useful? That's what I meant. Sorry. Uh, okay. Hey, let's go back down because going being down was fun, wasn't it? As long as you're deliberately descending and not being dropped into feed the monster. Yes. Is there a monster? Oh, yes, there's a monster. It is a giant what? fish. It's called a sort of a cross between a shark and a whale. Oh. If you could find the aquarium thing where you could look out with the different colours, then we could, sh oh, we could show Nelly the yeah. scary fish. Yeah, I don't know if you remember where Have that is. Have to it yet? No. But we've pretended to feed many, many stick men to it. <laughs> can I go... Oh, why can't I let him in? Going off the beaten track here. Uh, looks pretty beaten to me. It's awfully slow for a change. Yeah, hurry up, King. You ain't got all day. Are we on the Yes. This is where this little contraption started. When we found it. Oppa, oppa. 
Are you okay there? I think it was a hiccup. I said ah. off, but... Oh, okay. I was just mimicking you. Usually a very good choice. Mimicking me. Yes. If we were mimicking you, we would have bought all the board games today, Ben, not just the ones that I thought my sister would like. <laughs> Normally a very good call. Oh, okay, okay. Let's let's swing this thing around and get out on the other side. I don't need to know the door's closing. I can hear it clearly. But I guess for the hearing impaired, it's useful. And also, we think there might be clues in the audio that we were missing because we're not listening properly. Yes. And if there was anything important enough, they would put it in the audio cues. Just some soft cheating that hasn't worked. Fishy fish face. Well, we, we can show Nelly the yeah. uh, the replica of the giant fish. Very pretty. Ah, thank you. Oh, oh is... that's the replica. Cool. Well, it's head anyway. <laughs> Sharp bits. It's a pretty advanced here, I think. How do we? Bit confused. Uh, we already did. You know what they didn't invent? Post-it notes. Yeah, where's a post-it? Where there's note? a password or a combination. It could just be a little post saying, hey, you know, if you happen to have wandered up to this and you need to activate this machine, here's the combination of colours and numbers you need and to... Also, uh, here's how to get it again, get there again. Oh uh, yeah, maps also something they haven't invented yet. I think I'm just retracing steps. Oh yeah, sorry, I remember being up here. So this is where we closed that thing down there. Because it was open before. Because if we go... Why did we do that? I don't know. We just did. Oh, so that we could go... So that we could get on this little lift thing and go up and open, oh, okay. open that. Alright, yep. There you go. Otherwise you we go over there. Again. Yep. Uh, nice weather. Um, can I jump off here? No. But there's the town over there. It's lovely. Everyone wants to live in something that looks like a wasp nest. Yep. I'm mussing something. Why is there nothing else in those colours except for that underground, underwater observatory? That's a very good question. And how very. have we not run into the underwater observatory yet today? Have we not been everywhere again? No, we definitely haven't been everywhere. Um, We've been so many places. We have. I mean, you know what? It's unfair that, that this game treats us this way. <laughs> I agree. How dare I? So I'm going to go back and get in the taxi and go across, and I think that's going to be a place... That might be where the thing is. You know the thing? Mm -hmm. The underwater observatory? Yeah, that sounds good. I like the way you think. Because then we could both show Nelly the scary fish and also see something that is the same colours as the balls we would like to place into yes. an appropriate combination. It's taxi time! Come on, let me do it. Come on. Oh, this is definitely it. This is it, Sean. I remember this island. Excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. Very excited right now.
They should really come up with quiet taxis. <laughs> now arriving at Square Island. <laughs> Do you remember when we came through here one of the times, I think in the other direction actually, and we saw someone? Yes, and then they ran away and we never saw them again. Yep. Have you not showered, Ben? Did they think you were homeless? I mean, I get that a lot. I guess I haven't seen a shower in all their adventures. All the things they installed. Basic oh, I remember when, when we first pulled this lever out here, and I'm like, oh, nothing's happening, let's go. And you're like, no, wait. And then something did happen. <laughs> I'm impatient. Yeah, nothing happened immediately, therefore, nothing was happening. <laughs> Walk down, let's go. Must have been a false lever. Okay, first I have to call the taxi. Landing landing lights. I was making sure no one decides to jump into the channel right now. I just need to swing it around. I think the doors weren't going to open. They're cheap, not just putting doors on both sides. Seriously. <laughs> oh. No, that's not... Well, you know, a little bridge for pedestrians. Sorry, I think I... My keyboard is very sensitive. So sometimes I'm playing games now and I'm like, wait, why am I moving left? And it's because my finger's like lightly pressing on one of the buttons. <laughs> yeah, in our households, it's because there's a cat standing on some other buttons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Hey, look at our gold dome over there. A long way from Texas. Kansas. Yep, Both? one of them. <laughs> so up there is where we got where we got that pattern before. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna run through here. It's so pretty. And the music is nice. Um, Look, it's a 5x5 five five grid, guys. Uh, uh, do you remember what this is? Do you remember what we had to press here? I thought, I thought some of them we could just um, go to, but it was the the one that we needed to solve, with, like the picture in your screenshots that we were... Oh. Oh, I remember that no, we have to use the pattern that we to go down to the. Um... So yeah, so here's where we came yeah, up so with this. So here's where this. we can look at the pattern. Can I press this? Oh. Out to reset. Whoops! Put this in a reset. We've got a screenshot <laughs> of what it looked like though. Wait, is that how it started? I think so. Okay. Uh... But there's no colours here. I don't know, it's very annoying, isn't it? Do we know that's right? Yeah, and it okay, hasn't changed. So and this is what we have to, we use that pattern to go down to the aquarium, I remember now. Yep, 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 yep. Oh! Oh, this is, this is where I pooed my pants. 
<laughs> yeah, we uh, we had to walk across those logs over there, and I was looking down just to make sure I didn't fall off. And then you see this gigantic fish go underneath you. It's like, oh, okay, there goes a couple of years of life. <laughs> um. Yeah, oh, sorry, we're going to the aquarium. Um, Just because it had colours, like you said. <coughs> oh, oh, Jesus. That's right, this is the one that goes sideways as well. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, hello Aquarium. You didn't look happy when we saw him, do you remember that, Sean? Mm. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Um very dramatic. That what's her name, Catherine? Places we've been, so that's really oh yeah no we've definitely been there. Um okay all right oh, sorry um, get that out of the way. The other one is the colour is hard. This is it. This is how we know the colours. Green. Sean, I'm relying on you. Light <laughs> it up because we have visitors. I'm so happy right now. Seriously. <laughs> now I just have to remember to get back how to get back there. Okay, so the dot I is green. Yep. Then the uh, it's all referred into the middle of the thing, isn't it? There you go, yeah, there you go. Then the vertical eye is blue. Which one did you want me to do next, Sean? I just keep going around. Should be okay. fine. The vertical line is. I don't know. The horizontal eye is red. Oh, here we go. That red's how we get the big fishy. The, in the base game there was one time where if you it's just randomly he'll like try and charge the glass like headbutt it yeah okay so this shape is the across eye yep. with the line in the middle yep and that was red oh actually now, now that I mentioned it um, yeah so this is definitely lighting something up but we just can't see it that's all so uh, we'll come back to that one I guess so we know what, what green, blue, red are those are the ones we know. Are those two colours that don't work? Uh, no, no, no. So we already did that one. That was the red one. That was this one. Yeah, so, sorry, it's already on. Yes. So. Or was it? No, I'm, now I'm a bit confused. Maybe this one. I haven't done oh, this. here we go. So the horizontal yep. line is orange. And the horizontal eye is yellow. So there's only one colour that we didn't color? weren't able to do, right? But surely you can do that by process of elimination. I was on a line with a dot is yellow. This one? That was blue. I think it was this next one that we couldn't do. Yeah, nothing was happening. That's purple, I'm guessing. Because that's the only colour that we haven't seen. That's the colours that's missing, yes. Well, 
That's massive. Wait, but there's um, six... Six things there. And six colours. And there's only five domes? There's only five balls as well. So which of these symbols do we not have an eye for? Is it the horizontal line? I think it is. The horizontal line we don't have Oh no, it's this one. It's this one. Um, we don't have this one. This is something we don't have. Yeah, with the, with the like, slit eyes like a cat. Okay, so slit eyes like a cat attracts the walk. See, the first time he just grumbled, that time he growled. What if we keep doing it? You want to do it again? I can do it again. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> if this was a cat, then the next thing it would do is bite after two warnings. Fancy a walk around for three. Remember when you just keep clicking on them? Stop, that tickles. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh god, I was pressing the button. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> okay, let's change to this. We've got orange, let's go back. I'm gonna call the little bugger again. Creams, okay. Why does he look red? What's his problem? You want me, you want me to go again? Mm. Oh, you want to make three different reactions? Me? Yes. We haven't made any other progress. Maybe we can uh, die to the walk. Or oh, maybe this is just what it does now. Uh, I, I, I insist that he must give me the desired reaction or I'll be upset. Oh. I mean, maybe there's an achievement for making the walk really mad. Oh, he's coming in. Looking directly at us. There was an achievement! Hooray! We got an achievement. We haven't solved any puzzles, but we made the walk really bad. Yep. I feel good about that. Well, I think we've done well. We've got colours. Yeah, so, so I have. think I think the only symbol that doesn't have... Um, I'm thinking of a word here. Sorry, the only one of those eye symbols that didn't have a colour was the one that... Um, we don't have a dome for it. And that is like the eye symbol has a vertical line in the middle yes. of it rather than a dot. Yep. We went down there. Oh, wait, that's right, we did totally. I remember that. <laughs> I remember things. Let's get a taxi. I remember where we are now. Uh, taxi time. Yeah, this is the lab. Sorry, the other door for, to, to the lab. Um, we are making amazing progress now. Which is to say, I'm not sure if we actually are. <laughs> but... I'm very, very enthusiastic about it.
Um, we've been going for an hour and five minutes now, so I'm happy to stop if you guys want to. Once you get to the rainbow thing. Oh yeah, okay, alright. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. Rainbow thing okay. coming right up. Oh, there it is. It'll be here any minute, guys. Any minute. Just like waiting for a taxi. Real soon now. Just, just saying. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, trying to make it realistic, also making it annoying. So nearly back there. Thank you. This is the Formula One version of this game. One more taxi and we're there. How are we supposed to, like, figure out the shape of the islands? That's what I want to know. Okay, so I'm guessing that... Sorry, I'll... Th that island over there where you can see that little structure, I think that that's mm. the square island. Okay. Because it's the one that's got that um, area in the middle uh, where it's just water and the furnace, uh, Sean, that we had to turn off. Yep. I think that's the square one. I don't know about any of the others. <laughs> I have to rotate this room, I apologize. Okay, I can barely hear. Well, let's do it. All 
Alrighty, come to me, Domicus. Alright, are you ready for this? Yep, ding, let's ding. do it. Ding ding. Here we go. Okay. Any ideas? I think we should probably call it there. <laughs> We've been going like back, over back where we started. Yeah, basically. But we do have a little bit of an extra information. What I might do is um, just do a quick run around and find the symbols for each of the islands. Yes. And so then that yeah. So put these little ones in that shape from the the other thing. Yes, because at least then we know which symbol is which. Which well, we know which island, and then we know what color is for the symbols. Does that make sense? Then, yes. And and then we know, yeah, basically we've got the three things we need for the relationship to be able to put them in the right spot. I still have no idea about this up here. I'm sure it's not important. <laughs> it's just decoration, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. There's been, there's been so many puzzles in this game that you didn't really need to do anyway. Um, but thank you. Thank you for joining me. Uh, no worries. Thank you, uh, thank thank you, you for thank all you. of your big braining. <laughs> Don't thank you for the entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I will talk to all you right, later. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.